Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can customize many features of the spelling and grammar tool. You can view the proofing options for Microsoft Word by clicking the Options button when using the Spelling and Grammar dialog box. Now if using Word 2010, you can access the proofing options by also clicking the File tab in the ribbon and then clicking the Options button. If you're using Word 2007, you can access your proofing options by clicking the Microsoft Office button and then clicking the Word Options button. If you choose the latter method in either Word 2010 or Word 2007, you will also then need to select the Proofing category from the Option Categories list at the left side of the window. Now in the When Correcting Spelling in Microsoft Office Program section, click the checkboxes next to the displayed options in order to turn them on or off. A check within the box indicates that the option is selected or enabled. Following this section, there are two other sections for options that apply to Word only. There's the When Correcting Spelling and Grammar in Word section, and the Exceptions for section. So you can check or uncheck the options here to set additional default spelling and grammar options for Word. Notice the Recheck Document button. Normally, Word accepts that you have properly corrected the document once you have finished your spelling check and does not spell check the document twice. If you have checked your current document once, but perhaps you made mistakes with the replacements, then you must reset Word's Spelling and Grammar tool by clicking this button to prompt Word to recheck the document and recheck words that it previously checked but that you chose to ignore. Another useful feature of Microsoft Word is the auto-correct feature. All users mistype or misspell words, and there may be words that you seem to mistype frequently. Word provides the auto-correct feature to help you automatically correct common misspellings of words. For example, if you commonly mistype the word the as T-E-H, auto-correct can automatically replace this misspelling as you actually type it. To view the auto-correct feature, click the auto-correct options button at the top of the proofing options that are shown in the Word Options dialog box. This will open the autocorrect dialog box. You can click the autocorrect tab to set or change the autocorrect options for Word. Here you can add either a plain text or formatted text entry. So if your company's name is always in 16 point Tahoma font and bolded, you could create a formatted entry so that when it's inserted it will always retain all formatting. To create a formatted entry, type the word or phrase into your document as you want it to appear with all the necessary formatting. Highlight the word or phrase and then open the autocorrect dialog box. The selection should appear in the With text box. Then click into the Replace text box and type the shortcut entry for the longer phrase. Then click the radio button above the longer entry that says Formatted Text to save it as a formatted text entry. Once it appears the way that you want it to appear, you can then click the Add button to add it to your autocorrect entry list. You can also delete an autocorrect entry from the list shown on the autocorrect tab. You simply select the entry that you want to delete, and then simply press the Delete button in the lower right corner of the autocorrect tab. Now once you've finished setting your autocorrect options, you can click the OK button to close the dialog box and save your changes. You can then click the OK button in the Word Options dialog box to close and save the default proofing options. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.